So, hey guys, how's it going? Back in the grift again here in Las Vegas. Yes, I'd say grift because Formula One's coming here and they're grifting the strip, if you know what I mean. It costs about $2,000 to $8,000 just for general admission inside the Formula One this year. That's going to take place in November 16th, 17th, and 18th. That's right. And they are asking for venues to pony up millions because uh, their view is viewing the strip. So like clubs, uh, anything that's viewable for public or uh, any other people going in and out of these clubs and stuff like Anyways, they're asking for money. So they're looking like Black Tap Craft Burgers and Beer. That is at the Venetian. That's just on the main floor. You really don't see the strip from there. I can tell you that. So basically what Formula One wants to do is a Grand Prix will use reasonable efforts to maintain sightedness from licensed venue to the track race. So anything that's viewable from a distance or whatever, club, bar, whatever, rooftop. You know, we've got some rooftop bars now that can see the strip. Uh, so there's all that stuff. Paris has a club. So they want to start charging these people fees and they are raking it in as it is already. Uh, it's incredible. It's incredible to what they're doing here. I think the F1 has now become the FU of Las Vegas because our roads are messed up right now. Nothing's like every road has construction on it. You'll see a cone everywhere. So they're ripping up the roads. Of course, we're going to have a Super Bowl here in the turn of the year. So that's going to be very interesting. So they're ripping up the roads for that. And we have a bridge that's out on Tropicana that crosses over into the uh, arena area for football and all that other stuff. So this is going to be very interesting. So let's say if you wanted to get a room on the Las Vegas Strip for the Formula Runs, the run-of-the-mill hotel rooms for the weekend are charging 1000 per night. Add the 6600 average race tickets for three days or the jacked-up cover to go to the restaurant or to get something with a good view and flights. Add that up. It costly. It's... It's going to be a costly $15,000 for the average Formula One fan to come here. I mean, it's not average. You're going to have to be very wealthy to become here, to just come here. So now Beer Park is officially partnered with Formula One and is charging $5,500 for full three-day access to the venue, indoor space, including food, beverage, and 75 TVs all around. And it's 9,000 square feet. Uh, outdoor terrace and with track side views actually that is a pretty good deal if you've got that kind of money and but the thing is these guys are raking this in so if you're going to some sort of venue let's say it's something at uh, the paris and their nightclub has a perfect view even their restaurant you're going to be charged an extra um, licensing fee upon that so it's going to be a costly endeavor just to go to this stuff. And, and they're going to be here for 10 years. So imagine what it's going to be like for the next year. I think in year five, things are going to start to dwindle down for the Formula One here as prices start to uh, decline and steeply decline because a lot of people are going to be like, oh, I've been here for five years and blah, blah, blah. It's the same old, same old thing. I'm spending millions of dollars just to come here and watch this silly race around Las Vegas. Which is nothing wrong with that. If you're a fan and uh, all that stuff, I think it's a good, a good thing for Las Vegas. But it's a more good thing for Formula One. So yes, I think the Formula One has turned into an fu here in Las Vegas. A lot of locals would probably agree with that. And <laughs> that's it with that. Let me know what you think about the Formula One and what's it's doing to the Las Vegas Strip. How people are capitalizing on it and uh, all that neat stuff. So let's move on to the fire that happened at the Fontainebleau over the weekend. Uh, they had a rooftop fire, not sure how it was caused. There is no um, follow up on that, but fire crews have reached that scene very quickly and put out the fire. So I don't think there's any other damage to what the area is was on fire too. But it did leave smoke signals to other adjacent hotels and I'm sure everyone got a chuckle out of it as this new not even opened hotel or resort is just 
cursed from the beginning because it's a 20 year project that this thing has undergone. And uh, for them to have a like a rooftop fire is just kind of the insult to injury as far as what they've endured so far in getting this monumental property up and running. Now, it will, as far as I know, be opening at the end of the year. If uh, the casino floor opens up sooner, I'll have that out for you guys. So don't worry if you want to uh, tag along and follow this channel. That's great. If not, just stop in from time to time. We'll have some stuff for you. So Las Vegas has been having some pretty high temperatures here lately. Just past week, it just started to cool off today. Had some few rain showers overnight, which is good. But the heat here, if you're walking down Las Vegas, it might feel like this. And you'll also have, you know, a tendency to be drinking a lot of water. So yes, Vegas has been uh, very hot. But I think some of the heat issues that we've been having here might have attributed to this fire at the Fontaine Blue. So it will cool off a bit here in Las Vegas uh, this week. So it's gonna cool off, probably heat back up a little bit, but it's gonna be in the 103 to 105 range for the week and also spotty little rain showers here and there. But that's pretty much the weather in Vegas. If you're going out hiking, you know, there has been two deaths here uh, in the Valley uh, Fire Park. Um, and people uh, straight off, two girls straight off somewhere, and they ended up dehydrating and getting heat exhaustion, and that was it, that they, they, uh, they died. I mean, that's all there is to it. And then, uh, so you got to be careful of that stuff, you guys. It's, it's not, uh, the heat here is not very forgiving. You will suffer. I mean, that's just the way it is. So the sphere is the biggest news this past month. And people have been videotaping it and watching it from afar or getting up really close to it. Now, the traffic getting to it is kind of a pain in the butt. And a lot of people have uh, stopped their cars, pulled off to the side, tried to get photos and videos and all this stuff. It's pretty annoying. I don't know. They got some logistic issues here going on. But everybody wants to get a shot of the sphere, which you totally understand. But you got to be careful. You can't pull over to the side. I don't think you can. Some people probably are, but... That's the situation here, is that uh, everyone wants to get a, a good view of the sphere. And if you're going that way, definitely uh, just park in the back. There's a road in the back side. That's where people mostly go to, which is safe and easy accessible. However, people just want to pull over and, and take selfies. And I've seen all kinds of stuff going on there. And I will pull off as well. I'll go to the back. Do I did a live stream. If you haven't seen the live stream on that, I'll leave a link below, but it's pretty cool. But someone just released uh, the inside of what it looks like. They're starting to coordinate the uh, panels inside, the lights and all that stuff. It's a huge LED screen uh, that kind of wraps around the whole auditorium. So it's like a giant planetarium. And it's pretty cool. I can't wait for this to open and see a couple uh, showings of this just to see what it's like and get an experience out of that. And uh, hopefully it turns out well for the Sphere. It is like a $2.2 billion project. We're not sure how it's going to make money yet. This is going to be very interesting. Maybe it's just a loss leader for Las Vegas. Or if you're coming on a plane, flying in, and you happen to see the Sphere winking at you with a giant eyeball, then uh, maybe it's done its, uh, done its job. But anyways, we'll have more on the Sphere later. But there is a link for that to see the live stream I did a couple days ago. And uh, enjoy that. It's pretty cool. They got some cool graphics and all that, and people enjoy that. Uh, when a lot of people come here, they are, you might want to be concerned about safety. Just put it that way. And um, this video here shows a <laughs> person trying to get into someone's hotel room. Now, some of the no. more fancier places might have a little more robust um, locks and, and handles and whatever. But this guy is trying to door. get into <laughs> someone's room with this device, which is, I have to get this one from my house because I get locked out of here once in a while. And uh, this is pretty interesting. If someone's slipping something right through there, it's like a bendable fishing rod that uh, clamps onto the handle of the door and pulls it open just to see what you guys have in your hotel rooms and stealing. But there's been a lot of theft here lately, and I perceive that to uh, actually go up as the Formula One gets here with all these very wealthy people coming into Las Vegas. This is going to be a real thing. People are going to break into your hotel room and they're going to steal your stuff. That's just all there is to it. So make sure you bring a safe or make, make sure they have locks, safes in the room or whatever it might be to lock up your valuables or 
expensive watches and be careful if you're bringing a, a girl to your room or whatever. And because uh, you might get your stuff swiped. So be careful of that. This stuff happens all the time here in Las Vegas. So be careful. Uh, make sure you uh, be aware of your surroundings. Watch for people following you down the free down the hallways and all this stuff. So, yeah, be careful of that stuff because uh, this stuff happens uh, more frequently than you would imagine. But I remember, I can imagine Formula One that uh, there's going to be some sketchy employees probably snooping around your stuff. So be careful of that because that does happen too. Employees are not the most easily trusted people uh, working these hotels. Okay, that's the short end of the news. It's been a very eventful and busy weekend here. Remember, Formula One is going to cost you money. So if you're coming here in November, Formula One is going to be a big issue. Traffic, traffic's going to be a big issue here. So people uh, bringing people in and out of Las Vegas, if you're a cabbie, rider, um, driver, excuse me, or Uber and Lyft and all these other private limos and stuff like that it's it's a chore to get people in and out of there so tip your drivers accordingly because they're spending extra time getting you to your destination for sure so be mindful of that and that's it uh i will be doing a uh wednesday night bike ride so we do the las vegas bike cruise it's fun for me i love it i'll probably might do i'll try to do a live stream or a video thing uh, it'd be, it's, it's super fun. I enjoy it. And it's a, a lot of fun. So the community gets together and does a huge bike run around Las Vegas. Well, that's about it for the news. You guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Definitely give a look at the sphere video I did on the, uh, live stream and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheerio.